Um, there are, since the pandemic, there are many skin presentation of COVID. One of them is mainly in children, and this is called, uh, in, in, in UK and Europe, called pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome, temporarily associated with COVID. The American uh, no, name it is multisystem inflammatory syndrome in children, or, or MISD, which is very, very similar to, um, to Kawasaki, and I think Dr. Adel Riyad has spoken to you about uh, um, uh, Kawasaki today. Then there are another five skin conditions, which is presented both in children and adults. And as you can see here, um, MIS and Kawasaki disease are almost similar. So both have high temperature, both have the well-known skin rashes, oral signs, eye conjunctivitis, eye signs like conjunctivitis, lymphadenopathy in both, multi-system failure and death in both sometimes, and laboratory, only the laboratory investigation that usually differentiate between these two conditions. As in uh, MISC, uh, usually you have the high fibrinogen, high uh, D dimers, uh, a high interleukin 6 and uh, interleukin 10. So we should always consider uh, COVID as a cause of Kawasaki disease. Then we have quickly the skin manifestation, usually more polyform or maculopapular rash. Uh, which is the most common presentation. As you can see here in this, uh, uh, these photos, this is very similar to um, uh, uh, rubella or measles with the generalized erythroderma or even drug eruption. Um, another um, presentation is uh, urticaria, which is again common condition, usually settled down very quickly, uh, usually very itchy, but usually doesn't associate with angioedema and usually affect the palms and, uh, and, uh, and um, feed um, and doesn't need usually any treatment. As you can see here, affecting, here you're affecting the palms and a baby with an extensive urticaria. Um, number four is a chicken box like lesion or blister or physical like lesion. It's not as, as common as the more polyform rash. Uh, usually the blister is very uh, itchy, uh, usually uh, disappear uh, within, within two weeks. And sometimes it carry poor prognosis because children or adults who have got chicken box like lesion usually have a very mild course of COVID. Um, uh, this is, as you can see here, the multiple blisters and physicals that affect any part of the body. Um, then the most serious one is this condition, which is the video reticularis again with purpura, uh, purpuric rashes, necrotic and vascular lesion. Thank goodness is quite rare in COVID, but if, if a child or, or um, uh, an adult have this condition, this usually carry poor prognosis. And as you can see here, uh, multiple periodic lesions like vasculitis, necrotic of the skin. This is a baby with this condition like video reticularis, uh, healing by post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Again, multiple periodic patches that can affect um, um, any part of the body. And this is either due to immunological reaction or due to the direct effect of the, of the virus on the blood vessels. The last um, uh, condition is COVID toes, which is a very common uh, condition. Uh, usually have multiple erythematous papules uh, on them uh, uh, with a change in the color of the toes and fingers, similar to chill uh, planes, uh, usually itchy, can be painful and more common in adults and children and usually last for maybe two weeks um, and usually appears later in the course of the uh, COVID and associated with less severe disease, less severe disease of COVID. Um, and this is how COVID uh, toes can present, and this is children with, um, with uh, um, uh, COVID toes. Um, so uh, these are the most common co presentation of COVID. And um, as I said, the levator reticularis and the necrosis of the skin carries very poor prognosis. And um, interestingly, there's a familiar clusters, which means if you have a member of family, for example, have a COVID toes, and then the infection passed to the rest of the family, Almost all of them will, will have COVID toes too, for a reason we don't know. Uh, this is the link of the study if you would like to read about it.